In this lecture on microeconomic demand factors, we will be looking at how changes in the personal income tax rate or changes in the interest rate would affect demand. So let's look at these two examples one by one. Let's look at how a change in the personal income tax rate would affect demand. So let's assume that initially the personal income tax rate was at a flat 30%. Now we know that this isn't the case because in Australia we have a progressive income tax rate where as we move through the brackets our percentage paid on the proportion of income increases. So let's just assume for simplicity that our personal income tax rate is 30%. Let's assume that this decreases to 20% because of some um, autonomous factor, so a factor that isn't uh, directly affected by demand. So we can see that because our income tax rate has decreased by 30% to 20%, we can see that if a person earns $100,000, their disposable income would increase from $70,000 to $80,000. Now because their disposable income has increased, therefore they are able to spend $10,000 more. So let's assume in the market for clothes that people really want to buy clothes. And because now they have more money, we can see that the demand for clothes would shift to the right. So assuming that supply is upward sloping and demand is downward sloping, we can see that the demand for the clothes will increase at every price level to D2. And this means that originally at the price equilibrium of P1, which corresponds to the quantity demanded in the market at Q1, we can see that because at every level of price there will be a greater quantity demanded, we can see that initially that there will be a shortage of clothes at Q2, But since producers aim to maximize prices, they will see that because they are selling all their clothes or all their supply at the end of the day, they will increase prices slowly until they reach a point PE, which corresponds to the new equilibrium price here. And this will correspond to a new equilibrium quantity at QE. So what this means is there will be a expansion in supply as they move from the original equilibrium here to the new equilibrium here. And since after this shift in demand to D2, there will be a contraction in demand as the price increases. And so they approach this new equilibrium point. So this is how a change in personal income tax rates would affect the market on clothes. Similarly, if our interest rates were to go down, then we would have a more greater discretionary income to work with. So discretionary income would go up. And by this I mean our income after interest rates have been paid on an existing financial commitment. So if we've taken out a loan on a car, then therefore we have to pay uh, less interest if interest rates have gone down. And this is assuming that we have we have not um, bought the car on a fixed interest rate, but on a floating interest rate. So that um, our, we pay our interest on prevailing market circumstances. But however, let's look at the example of a of a say coffee shop. We can assume that the coffee they sell has a downward sloping demand curve. And the supply is also upward sloping for simplicity. Let's not assume any elasticity here for simplicity. And we assume that previously the equilibrium amount was at $3. We see now because the price or our, our interest rates have gone down, we will experience a shift to the right of the demand curve. D2. And this is because our interest rates 
has gone down. And this means because we have an existing financial commitment, say we have uh, we have to pay ten thousand dollars in interest in every year. So let's say ten thousand dollars. And because the interest rate has gone down, we only need to pay eight thousand dollars. Now, so that frees up an extra two thousand dollars to spend. And because before we were very tentative when we spent money on coffee every day, because we had to save up uh, ten thousand dollars to pay back the interest we 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 um, took out by buying a house, for example. So now because the interest rates have gone down, we have an extra two thousand dollars to spend. And now we we aren't we are not as tentative in buying coffee. So even though the price of the coffee has increased to a new equilibrium point at four dollars, because the coffee stores see that their coffee is being more uh, more there's a higher demand for for their coffee, we reach a new equilibrium point at E one. Moving from this point at E0, and we have a corresponding greater quantity demanded at Q2, or QE, for equilibrium. And now we can see how interest rates affect uh, even, even small stores, such as coffee stores, coffee shops, and the demand for coffee. And so to recap, changes in personal income tax rates or interest rates would affect the demand curve by shifting it either to the left or either to the right. So now we can see that if, however, this interest rate were to have decreased from 20, well, increased from 20% to 30%, we would have seen a corresponding decrease or a shift to the left of the demand curve from D2 to D1. And by this, I mean that the price or the equilibrium price and the equilibrium quantity would therefore decrease as firms realize they are not selling enough products. And similarly, if the interest rate were to have gone up instead of have um, gone down, then the demand for local coffee shops would have also gone down indirectly from D2 to D1. So they're, they're the two different types of effects that changes in personal income tax rates or changes in the interest rate would have on stores such as clothing or coffee. And now you can apply this analysis to any type of uh, any any type of good or service that requires more money or more or less money that you have than you have now, and so changes in the personal income tax rate, whether it be an increase or a decrease, would either shift to the uh, shift the demand curve to the left and to the right respectively. And similarly, if there's an increase in interest rates, the demand curve will shift to the left for any uh, market, and if there is a decrease in interest rate there will be a demand curve that shifts to the right.